first trip, we tried to gain access to two locations, but both were unsuccessful. The first place that we went to was a school. It was under construction and the seal looked tight. The second was a college, however due to a patrolling guard we weren't able to stay long. Our second trip took us further afield, to an old hospital in Preston. Once again, it was shut off well and truly. The only access was from a third story floor, and not wanting to risk our lives by climbing, we went to McDonald's and pondered what to do next. I don't think we're getting in The building shown was heavily damaged, having been cleared earlier in its life. Mostly rubble remained, and nature began to take over. Careful of the glass. Turn it on. And then go make sure this one's on as well. And initiating. <laughs> nice. Nice.
we had to sit on the roof to get time lapses. After coming across a couple of people in one of the buildings, we moved out onto the car park and gained entry to the main building. Just chuck my bag in once somewhere. Is this on your head? <laughs> this time gaining access by climbing the side stairs. A later addition to the building. We started walking up, but the kids were still present around the site. Since it was abandoned, Pagefield has been attacked by arsonists multiple times. Counting the external structures on the site, it has been set alight at least five times, making the papers on occasion. The papers have described the site as very prolific for antisocial behaviour. We then made our way up onto the next floor only to find a gang of kids. The last building we went into was the offices, however it looked like it had been used for building contractors, it was still very much abandoned. This was the most fire damaged section on site, including the temporary outhouses. It looked as if at least three fires had occurred here at different points. One section of the building was too hard to access because of how badly damaged it was. Yeah. 